people on YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're doing the Blackman Chilling Gambit Trap and we are also doing how to checkmate with a queen and how to checkmate with a rook and if we have time in this video we can do a pin and a skewer but if we don't then we won't do it sadly and we may do it in the next video so see you later in the video. We're starting off with the black mentioning gambit trap, but as you can see, we this is a must. You have to play black in this to win the game. So let's go. So then we start pawn e4, then pawn e5 for you. So then they take the knight out. You take your knight out that's opposite of where they put the knight. So then they take their bishop out, attacking this weak pawn over here on, let's see if you can choose the coordinates. Because, are you ready? So the coordinates are, put down in the comments, I'll mention later in the video, or maybe not. But I'll tell you the coordinates, so A, B, C, D, E, F, the F, and then we go down all the way here, seven. So white starts the coordinates. So this is where A, B, C start. So then it's F7. So then, now after that, we will go, let's see. Let's see if you can guess. Because they're attacking this weak pawn, you can just attack their knight. But, but they won't take your knight because the pawn is defending it, which is lucky enough. So they go down and take a, poison pawn and that means it's something that can make stuff that happen to you on the chessboard very badly so it's not that it means it's gonna poison you it's just that it's gonna make something bad happen for you on the chessboard so then you just go and take your rook here so that it continues to protect the bishop a bit more so now what they do is can you guess Okay, <laughs> well, they take another pawn down here, which is a fork, but the king cannot take that knight because of that bishop. And a fork will be discussed in a future video. It is where the something attacks two pieces at the same time, because this knight can take the queen or can take the rook. So then you go down here, attacking this knight. So then they just take the rook. But that's okay, because now you can just go up here. But this is called the Queen's Gambit as well, which is, well, you can name it whatever you like. Some people even can name it the Queen's Big Foot. I don't care how you name it, but it has to be this, because this is one of the best traps I've ever heard. Because I, this is my favorite trap, actually. So then, they are just gonna hurry out, because they think they're in danger down in that corner. So then, you can, because they want to attack your queen again, you just move down here, preparing for checkmate. Because if you just take that rook, it'll go checkmate because of that knight. So then, they just move here and they're like, all right, I don't care. So if you take that rook, then you lose your queen because the king can take it. So do not attack the rook. Now, instead, move your queen back down here, taking this pawn, which will check that king. Now, more people are not going to use the queen, but that's the best way to block the checkmate. They think that the knight will take it, but you just use your knight and move it dangle from the queen, and that is checkmate. Because you're checking it, and then, so if they take your knight, then look, the queen is pinning that queen. The queen is pinning that queen, which we'll be discussing. I don't want to tell you now, though. And then if they take this, the knight is still checking it. So, checkmate. And then, same thing happens with this bishop. If they block with the bishop, take it here, checkmate. Because if they take that, the queen is pinning the bishop. Oof. Well, that is an oof. Because it's always good to pin a piece so that it, it can't move. That's the best thing I like to do in just because I love to play this trap, and as well as that I like to pin pieces, which is how it becomes my favorite trap. Mm. Checkmate. And now we're doing the how to checkmate with a queen. You can play black.
black or white, whatever you like. But I'm just going to show an example of them playing white. So, so if you end up in a position where all you have is a queen and the other team has not even a single piece, this is how you are going to play the way to checkmate with the queen. So, first you just move your... So now, if I just rotate this board, because if you're playing white, I just like to make sure that white is always in my phone, whatever I'm playing, because I'm playing white. So now, move your queen down here, so so that it's in a night shadow of the, look, the king. So, now, it's making a boundary, so that it has to go diagonally. So then, you just copy what move it does. But when it gets to the corner, you do not copy that move. So when it gets so, so that it has an, at least one move to do, see? But, now see, let me just start again. So, to get you a better example, so let's say it was here. So then you just get your queen down here. So, if let's say it starts like this. Okay, I'm just going to prepare how it starts. So, so then you move your queen here, so then they just move it here, so then you move it here, pushing it into the corner, which means that I only have this space to move. So then it keeps on moving. Now, you march your king forward. Let me just do it properly, because I don't want to skip spaces. But kings cannot go next to each other, so, so you move your king here, so then they move here, so you move here, they move here, you move here, they move here, and then get your queen just for a reason. To take it down here. And this is checkmate. It's just like a sandwich mate. Because if the if the king takes that queen, kings cannot go next to each other. And that that's why the queen that's why the king is really helping. And then you see the queen is protecting all these places. Queen is also checking the king. So not here, the queen, here, the queen, here, the queen, here, the queen. So what's the point? Checkmate. And now we have how to checkmate with a rook. But actually this is, may end up in stalemate. If it ends up in stalemate, don't blame me. Because I'm giving it a surprise. So now let's just say it started here. So you move, move your king here, so then, so then, but this rook is also creating a boundary, so then they'll just go here, then you move your king here, so then they move here, so then you move here, making the boundary smaller, so then they move here, so now you move up here, making the boundary even smaller, so then they go here, now move your king, so then they move here, so then you move here, making the boundary even smaller, so then they move up here, so then you move here, so then they move. so let's say they move wherever they like, you just continue, so making the boundary even smaller, so then they move, so then you move here, so then they move here, so, but that, they can't move there, so that is checked, so then they move here, so then they move here, which makes the boundary even smaller, so then they go here, 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 now that makes the boundary even smaller, but now this is the bit where they have to go. They, so they only have these two squares. So then they go here and here. Now you don't want to lose the sight of the rook. So you just have to move it here, making the boundary a bit larger. But you have to move this king as well. But it, it won't go in these three spaces. So then they go here. So then you can move it here, which now makes the boundary like this. But no. Because it can just escape here, so then it goes here, so then you move it here, which now makes the boundary like this. So then they move here, so then you move here. Now the boundary is full. It takes a long time to check me like this. And they move here. So then you just move here, just making the boundary a bit smaller. So then they move here, 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 and then you move here. Check me. Because. This is the bit where it's a triangle, so you need to make, it can be a bit quicker though. You can make, so you have to make a triangle where the black king is in the corner, the rook is checking it, and the king is right at the top of the triangle, you see. Let me just get, get you a clear view. So, this is checkmate with the rook, because the rook checking that, so that it can't move here. Well, the king is guarding these two spaces, and then it's done.
So this is checkmate. One of the hardest checkmates to do. And we may have time for a pin and skewer. So that's what we're going to do. A pin and skewer. So now let's just say, remember when I told you in the Blackburn Chilling Gum Bit Trap? Well first we're going to start with a skewer, what it is. So let's say those white came was in, then so then you have to find if it's on the same diagonal. If you want to take the queen, you have to first find if it's on the same diagonal of of the king. So it could be here, 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 or if it's on the same row, here, 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 and again diagonal here, 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 here. It has to be somewhere where it's in line with the king. And then, let's say that black king was here. Okay, now, you have to, you can either use a rook or a queen. Let me just find the queen. Uh, yeah. So, a rook or queen. One of these two, but I'd use a queen. So now, let's say the queen was here and it was black's turn. So you just move it down here, which is now, so a skewer is basically the opposite of a pin. I'll explain why. So you're trying to move the weak piece to make, this is a false move though, so the king has to move. So try to, this is the best to do with a king. So you have to move this, you have to move the weaker piece so you can capture a stronger piece. That's a skewer, whilst a pin is where you're pinning a piece so that it's a stronger piece that cannot move because otherwise a, str a stronger piece will be attacking the weaker piece. So that's not allowed. So then they move you and you've got the queen treasure. And then you can just do the queen for the, you know what I mean, the, the how to check me with the queen, just to do it. And then after that we have just do a pin, so let's say. So that's in those two rooks here. I'm just going to look. And then I'm about to show you a smothering mate, but this is not exactly a smothering mate. I'm exactly showing you from the Blackman Chilling Gambit trap as well. So let's just say a queen here. And then which is pinning that piece because if that bishop moves and the queen is checking it. So then, and then the knight's here. So it's pinning the piece. So if it wants to capture the knight, a stronger piece will be attacking the weaker piece, which is forcing it that it cannot move. And plus it's a small bit mate and a queen mate. So it's basically a small brain mate. But if that bishop was not there, you could just take it for anything except for a pawn. Because something that cannot capture diagonally, so it can't be a queen, bishop, or pawn that will be there, and then you just don't need the queen. Simple. Even if this was a queen, like in the black one, chicken gambit drop here, check, and then here, check. So this is one of the bits which is very annoying. A pin. That's why I like to do it on other people. And this is what we all have time for in my video. So let's end it now. Just this. Thank you for watching my video, guys. I hope so you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. So, bye, guys.